Hello everyone, thank you for listening to the Portsmouth City Council Library Storytime and the first one we're starting with is Quackity Quack by Ian Wybrow. This little baby had some bread, his mummy gave it to him for the ducks but he started eating it instead. Lots of little ducky things came swimming along thinking it was feeding time but they were wrong. The baby held onto the bag, he wouldn't let go and a crowd of noisy ducky birds started to grow and they made lots of ducky noises. Quack, 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 quack. And then a whole load of geese swam up and went honk, honk, honk at the back. And when a band went marching by in gold and red and black, nobody could hear the tune because all they could hear was honk, honk, quack. Louder boys, said the bandmaster, give it a bit more puff. So the band went toot, 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 ever so loud, but it was still not enough. Then all over the city, including the city zoo, all the animals heard the noise and started making noises too. And the donkeys went ee-aw, ee-aw. And all the dogs went woof, woof, woof. And all the snakes went sss. And all the crocodiles went snap, snap. And all the mice went squeak, squeak. And all the lions went rah. Then one little boy piped up and said, I know what this is all about. That's my baby brother with a bag of bread. I'll soon have this sorted out. He ran over to where the baby was holding his bag of bread and not giving any of it to the birdies, but eating it instead. And he said, what about some for the ducky birds? But then the baby started to wah, wah. So his ba brother said, if you let me hold the bag, I'll let you hold my ice cream. And then the boy said, quiet all you quack quacks and stop pushing. You're all going to get fed. And he put his hand in the paper bag and brought out a handful of bread. Honk, honk. And all the birds went quiet and the band stopped playing too. And all the animals stopped making a noise, including the animals in the zoo. And suddenly the baby realised that they were all waiting for a crumb. So he gave the ice cream back and he took a great big handful of bread and threw all the ducky birds some. And then all the hungry ducky birds were ever so glad they came. And instead of going, all the birdies said, yum, yum. Right, super duper Jezebel. Jezebel was perfect in every way. She was so perfect, she was called super duper Jezebel. When the other children came out of school, they were sometimes untidy, but Jezebel was always super duper neat. Jezebel always kept her room tidy and she always put her things back in their boxes and she cleaned up after the cat. When she went to play with her friends, Jezebel always kept clean. She still liked to have two baths every day. She always wrote her thank you letters in neat writing without being reminded. And at school, she was best at everything. When she had spots, she always took her medicine and always said thank you. She could do buttons up and tie real bows on her lace ups. Jezebel always ate up her meals. She always put her knife and fork together and she never ever picked her nose. If you do that, you'll get a long fat nose like a carrot. I've got a pretty nose. Jezebel told other children not to do things. Sucking your thumb makes your teeth stick out. I'd never do that. And I've got super duper teeth. And she thought it was nice being perfect. Look, the dentist is saying super duper. When the Prime Minister heard about Jezebel, she sent her a special medal for being good and a special statue of Jezebel was put up in the park to remind everyone else to try and be as perfect as her. 
She even went on television in a special show to talk about herself and her medal and the cup she had won for being polite, for being spotless, being helpful, being best at sums, reading poetry and writing. At school, Super Duper Jezebel wouldn't do anything wrong, like the other noisy children who weren't perfect. Come on, Jezebel, run! You mustn't run, it's against the rules. I always walk nicely. If you run, your socks will fall down. Run, a crocodile has escaped from the zoo. Lump. Oh. You naughty boy, you're a bad crocodile. You've eaten the most best perfect girl in the world. Well, said the crocodile, I have tasted better. She wasn't that perfect. The end. Thank you for coming. Just thank you for listening to story time again. <laughs>